Okay, we're going to walk through the steps to add or edit an event to your Squarespace calendar. I'm on the 19 Design website right now, but your calendar and my calendar are going to work exactly the same way. The biggest difference is that your calendar might be named something different or it might be in a different location. For example, my calendar is not a public page on my website, so it is down here under the not linked section of my website. However, your calendar might be in your main menu, which means it might be up here under primary navigation, and that's completely okay. The most important thing is you're looking for the calendar icon here, and no matter what it's named, that's what we're going to click on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on mine that says training event calendar, and you can see it opens up the calendar here on the right side of my menu, and I can see the events listed here. Now, if I wanna edit an existing event, I can do that two different ways. I can just go ahead and click over here and choose manage events, or I can come over here and click on the event and then choose to edit. And that's always the method I prefer. It's going to open my event window here, and I can simply go in and change any of the information. The event window is tagged in four different sections, content, options, location, and social. We're going to be primarily concerned with the first three here in this video. As you can see, the event title space is right here at the top, followed by the start date and end date. You do need to plug in a time with each of those. To change the date or time, simply click on the calendar and then click on the existing numbers and type your new time. And also you can choose AM or PM just by using the A or P keys on your keyboard. You can add text to the event window, just like you're on a regular website page, just by um, editing the text. Of course, just highlight what's there and change your text. Um, and you can use all of your formats that you have available to you. You can also add a new text box, um, just again, like you're on a regular website page, by clicking the insertion bubble and then choosing a new text box. Or you can add any kind of box that you have available on a regular website page. For example, you could even have a, um, a, a spacer, a line, a button, an audio clip, or a video clip right inside your event. As you can see here, I have an image file and a button. I can click over to the options tab. This is where I'm going to find a thumbnail image. I'm going to be able to customize my event URL um, or add excerpt text, which may or may not be showing on your website. Then on my location tab, I can fill in the event location so that that displays right on the event. And that's all there is to editing a current event on your website. Of course, we have comments on or off. I do recommend off for events. And then our publishing options like um, saving as a draft, marking it as reviewed, scheduling it to publish in the future. I'm just gonna click save here. And as you can see, here's that link to the map because I have a location entered on my event. If I want to add a new event, I can I can do that two different ways. I can duplicate the existing event and just change the information. I find that option the easiest. Or I can click on the plus sign and I can start from scratch with a blank um, slate. So it's really your choice. If you want to duplicate the event, simply click on the event, choose edit, and at the bottom of that window, choose the duplicate option. It's go oops, we're going to choose duplicate, And here is a copy of my new event. So I've not altered the original event, but now I can just change the new event title. I can change the date and the time and all of the pieces here. But you'll see that it will carry over my thumbnail image and will also carry over my location. So it's a nice little shortcut if you hold similar events, maybe on a monthly basis or even a quarterly basis. If I wanna change the thumbnail, I can just choose the trash can and then use my arrow here to upload a new image. I hope this training video was helpful. Remember, you can always access Squarespace support 24 seven at support.squarespace.com. It's included in your annual subscription or click help at the bottom of your website menu panel. Find me online at 19design.net.